The first national exhibition by female Australian Muslim artists opened this weekend in Sydney's West. Graphic images of war and startling religious videos are among the artworks which explore personal and collaborative stories. Asiya Shan Davidson draws the words Hail Allah thousands of times on the walls of her Melbourne house. I think I was most surprised by how hard-hitting some of the issues that they chose to deal with are. Um, ideas about divorce, about spirituality and, uh, and really exploring your spirituality. Ideas about warfare. They're, they're very complex, confronting issues. This new wave of contemporary art grew from the experiences of Muslim women from diverse backgrounds. Many of the 18 featured artists immigrated to Australia from Middle Eastern and African countries. 21-year-old Marwa Sharman's parents escaped here from the war in Lebanon. Their daughter reflects their memories in disturbing paintings of victims of a country violently torn apart. Yeah, my teachers took a while to sort of adjust to all the disturbing themes that I like to do because I've done, you know, poverty, animal cruelty, but war's always been my main focus. Idil Abdullahi paints with henna to revive stories of her homeland, Somalia. She painted a poem that fades slowly on her daughter's hand, expressing some of her own feelings since coming here as a refugee nearly 20 years ago. This work talks about that, uh, I think, struggle and challenges of, of being here as a Somali woman of refugee background and, and that whole idea of, I think, you know, losing oneself Pakistani-born Mawish Iqbal combines her experience as a mother and an artist to reveal the feelings of the children of refugees through her delicate silk screens. I think I'm using this symbolism to comment on the ethnic divide that sort of affects children, um, the behaviours and attitudes that they receive from the host culture and how it sort of results in isolation, depression and trauma. The No Added Sugar exhibition runs from May to July and Maria Nicholson, ABC News.